Hi, my name is Sanjay Ranjan and I am very delighted to announce about our second test series for Anthropology Mains in 2021. Let's look at the points which we are going to discuss in this video. First, we will discuss about the details of this course and then we will discuss how, why we are launching this course now, to whom it is dedicated, how one can benefit from this and then we will discuss the course content pattern in which we will show you the exact model answer how how you can uh, benefit from it exact point wise we will show you then further we will discuss why one should join this course and how to join this course finally so let's start so this this uh, course will start on 5th of september that is sunday 2021 it it contains 22 tests uh, 20 sectional tests and two full length tests Fee structure is 4000. So let's discuss why we are launching this course now. Now we have only three months left for our mains, around three months, and I think this is less time considering uh, the vastness of the syllabus. So it is not possible to uh, start any course uh, next month or any further. Uh, this is uh, the minimum time we have. So this is the last uh, time we are launching this course for this session. Um, further, uh, there is another point. Uh, one should immediately after prelims, one should start optionals because generally it happens that you have read GS from for a very long time and you are bored with it. You want to uh, make up uh, with optional as well and then again you can start with GS. Another point is that if you don't start optional now and uh, uh, guess you fails in prelims, you fail in prelims this this year, then um, again next this vicious cycle will start next year again. You have to uh, you will um, start with prelims again and you will miss out this total preparation of optional. So what is what is the biggest uh, Thing you will lose in this process there will be uh, there are certain candidates who will qualify uh, prelims and they will write mains they will anyhow within pressure with pressure they will anyhow study optional so next year you will be you will be lagging much behind from these candidates who have qualified prelims this year even even if they don't qualify for the even if they don't uh, get into the final selection So this course is dedicated to whom? Basically, uh, this course is dedicated to uh, the person who is appearing for um, OPSC mains this year or uh, who is preparing for OPSC for next year. Uh, this is because the um, because of a couple of reasons that uh, there are certain topics which are not there in UPSC syllabus. So, um, so that is the reason we, we had launched uh, specifically for OPSC. And um, another thing is, uh, there is not a significant difference between the syllabus of UPSC and um, OPSC. So anyone preparing for UPSC as well, they can also join. How can you benefit from this course? See. Uh, it is it is there is no hidden fact this is not hidden that if you have a schedule um, your efficiency will be high so if you are if you are just working with the schedule just uh, giving test on time you, you will be your efficiency will be much higher uh, it doesn't matter like uh, you you study less even then you gave the exam or uh, it doesn't matter just you have to appear for the exam with a minimum preparation, whatever preparation is possible. That itself uh, will increase your uh, efficiency to a great extent. And second thing is, um, um, this this um, this model answers. We have covered it so extensively. This course is so comprehensive. We have um, um, uh, details from the basic books from the case studies, from the current affairs, from the scholars, um, from um, recent uh, findings, everywhere. I mean, this course is very ex uh, comprehensive. We, once you will see the model answer, you will understand further. 
and third thing is uh, we have um, modeled these answers uh, in the form of intro and then body and then conclusion so intro and conclusion are ready made so you can just uh, have a glance on it and um, further you can use it directly in the exam and uh, body part is very comprehensive you can make it short but uh, we have done the comprehensive work so that you can understand it well and um, uh, the 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 model answers are in a very structured manner so once you read something in a very structured manner you will get, you will get those things in your deep memory so uh, that will help you and uh, this is a very uh, short time 3 months so um, we 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 think that you can really enrich yourself with this course in a very short time so we'll discuss about this course pattern further uh, basically the body will be having n number of dimensions why we are providing n number of dimensions because uh, guess you got a questions question for 60 marks you have a scope of around 600 to 700 words so um, if you start writing points with within one dimension if you write 20 points within one dimension it would hardly matter teachers are always keen to uh, uh, see new dimensions i mean how broadly you can think in a different different uh, way so if you cover different dimension you make some, like dimension in the sense different subtopics so if you cover different subtopics or n number of subtopics he is bound to give some marks for each subtopic so we are uh, we have structured these model answers in the form of dimension on the other hand if you if you learn this in the form of dimensions uh, if you just have a glance it is very easy to uh, remember it and reproduce it in the exam it's very it will go into your deep memory further as i had already explained uh, intro and conclusion are you can just uh, you can just uh, memorize it actually when you are writing uh, mains uh, uh, it's when you are writing in the exam ex examination hall it's very difficult to frame an intro if you if you are not uh, thorough with uh, writing or if you have not written it before sometimes it takes around uh, um, two three minutes to just think what i should write in intro you have the content but you cannot frame an intro uh, and similarly with conclusion you have to have a very good conclusion so these things are already ready made in the model answer thirdly um, we have made um, questions on almost um, uh, every bit of the syllabus this is like uh, super comprehensive too many like almost all the topics are covered in the form of questions we have 22 tests as i have told you already further uh, structure is maintained highly comprehensive and uh, uh, what are what are the sources of this content we have covered latest research basic books uh, latest field works case studies and um, innovative diagrams um, like uh, you have some content but you have to reproduce it in the form of uh, diagram then you will get more marks so these things are do already done in the uh, model answer you can just copy paste it and uh, also pictographic representation is there basic diagrams are also there so let us uh, briefly discuss one model answer so that you can get an overview so here we have a sample model answer so certain basic things are written that you have to follow intro body conclusion format and stick to keywords use maps diagrams flow charts and um, word limits uh, let's see this question we have uh, uh, this question on jasmani system so in this question uh, we have write in detail the basic nature and structure of Jajmani system. So many a times I have seen uh, students write answer but uh, they are actually not writing what is required to be written. So how do you uh, actually crack that? So mm, we can crack that by uh, separating the question into 
focus purpose and context focus in the sense topic so here topic is jet money system and purpose is uh, write in detail context is nature and structure so we have to write about nature and structure of jet money system since it is a 60 marks question so we can um, go to the associated dimension as well but guess if it is of just 10 marks then you you can just write nature and structure and uh, if possible you can touch other dimension but this should be written at any cost so uh, these kind of uh, breaking down of questions um, understanding part will be provided for each and every question in the model answer further is structure is also there a structure will be provided and uh, uh, going forward um, uh, this kind of uh, a mind map uh, will be provided uh, the question was about nature and structure so structure is having a couple of dimensions and uh, nature is having couple of dimensions this kind of a structure is uh, very useful in um, making a mind map and uh, it will be very helpful to recall um, these dimensions in exam many at times you have you have huge knowledge but you cannot reproduce that in exam but these kind of mind, mind maps uh, will definitely help so these kind of mind maps will be there in most of the questions and uh, going forward uh, we have uh, the actual answer so intro part is there we have thinkers here and a basic introduction you can cut it down if there is word limit if it is of less marks uh, going forward there is um, dimensions started this is the body part so first we are covering the concept uh, brief explanation then uh, diagrams to uh, explain that so that there is concepts to show that you have a conceptual clarity uh, this is basic diagram then there are additional diagrams this one you can actually frame this uh, make these diagrams on your own based on the concept so one two many diagrams will be for will be provided in the model answer don't worry uh, coming to the second dimension we have uh, names of judgment system in diff uh, different parts of India so many it is uh, quite very extensively covered very comprehensive so um, when you write many dimensions um, the, um, the faculty is bound to give you marks coming to the next dimension uh, we have functions of judgment system functions uh, as explained by uh, different uh, thinkers or uh, um, anthropologists uh, when you write the name of uh, anthropologist you definitely fetch more marks so uh, in this model answer uh, we we are trying to cover most of the uh, thinkers and um, anthropologists and uh, they will be highlighted or uh, maybe uh, in red color in the model answers going forward further we have um, um, characteristics of judge money system basically you can write this in uh, form of uh, paragraph as well but when you make this uh, kind of um, uh, flow chart or uh, um, these kind of pictographic representation you definitely for fetch more marks on the other hand when you have uh, a constraint of uh, word limit you have to uh, you are in a condition that you cannot write more words these things will definitely help so characteristics advantages disadvantages all in all these in the form of pictographic uh, then further we have principle behind the Jismani system nature of Jismani system so here we are addressing the nature part again thinkers are highlighted uh, then uh, rules in Jismani system then we have cast and Jismani system See, there are certain basic things which will be covered in most of the books and the basic diagrams which you have to uh, draw so you cannot miss on that uh, additional things we are already we are providing in the model answer as well so basic things is must and other things you have to also write so that you will be on the top further we have Jitmani. see many dimension you have to think maybe um, uh, there is a situation um, where you don't have much content but uh, you have to think on different dimension and uh, once you think maybe you would have read something about that dimension uh, the example is judgment system and religion so how it is related and uh, uh, case studies are very important uh, see 
uh, this this um, Jajmani system has two important case studies, one by Majumdar and um, another by Karnath. So, which is covered here, then critics by different anthropologists. Critics part is, part is also important. Uh, it, it fetches good marks in most of the questions. Then uh, uh, decline of Jajmani system. See, every dimension is covered very extensively, very comprehensive. But uh, when there is a constraint of word, you can just uh, write the dimension and couple of points. Inside that, no need to write uh, all the points. Uh, that will help. So, and contemporary part is also very important. So, um, that is also covered. So, starting from case studies to diagrams to uh, thinkers to contemporary relevance, everything will be covered. So, and uh, most important conclusion. So, we are providing conclusion in all the answer. So, uh, in uh, in GSC, you will see um, around one third marks is uh, dedicated to um, conclusion in certain questions. So. Um, uh, you can in in optional also it has a very good relevance where you if you write a very good conclusion you will definitely get um, uh, huge marks uh, body structure plus uh, case study and uh, diagrams conclusion is very important you have to have you have to write so here everything is ready made intro and conclusion and uh, another thing is uh, uh, many a times you have uh, good knowledge on the topic, good grasp of the topic. But uh, when you are sitting in the examination hall and you are trying to write the intro or the conclusion, you are unable to frame it in your words. So sometimes it takes two three minutes just to frame the uh, structure of um, how how you should write the conclusion and introduction. So. If you are thorough with uh, the model answer and you have written or you have read uh, some intro and conclusion, it will be very easy. You will um, save much of time and uh, the question which you don't know, you can recall, you will get more time to recall. So it's always better to save time. So um, that will help. So coming back to our PPT. Uh, Coming back to our PPT, we have uh, our uh, yes. Why one should why you should join this uh, course? See, there is one concept like uh, don't miss the bus. Uh, I'll give you one example. When there was um, LPG reforms, globalization and uh, liberalization, uh, you see most of the people uh, actually um, some of them were. Uh, stayed back in the villages and rural areas backward areas and some of them came to cities and joined the uh, globalization process privatization they uh, joined some firm or some companies or uh, they started some business or joined some job came back to came to cities and they actually excelled in their life economically and the guys who were left uh, who left he they thought the guys who thought uh, no no that this is not for them. They actually lagged behind, and um, they couldn't re reap the benefits of uh, uh, the development in our country. So it's always better to do. Uh, so what is the lesson from this? We can learn. It's always better to do right things at right time. So you are done with prelims. Now this is the best time to uh, best time you can dedicate towards optional if you don't do this now you will uh, uh, you will you will just waste time for one or two months and then uh, if you fail in prelims then again you will start preparing for prelims so you will be lagging behind uh, uh, for of one year of preparation from the guys who are writing mains this year so this time is very crucial so this is right time you should not miss this and um, anyways this is the last batch uh, for this session uh, so you can join this i highly recommend this and uh, on the other hand we have um, kept the price to the minimum so that is uh, minimum price so that is one important point uh, you can consider why you should join this 
going further how you can join this you we have our telegram channel and a uh, uh, couple of telegram groups are there you can just uh, go through the content free content and other content as well and uh, for joining you can contact on the mobile number provided uh, you can message on telegram or uh, whatsapp you can go through our website and uh, if you have any query or if you have any comment you can comment down below uh, so best of luck guys for upcoming mains do study hard make this time so thank you we will stop here for now thanks a lot and uh, stay tuned and uh, subscribe we, we are coming with uh, latest new updates very soon thank you